80% of dudes rapping, they ain't nice as me 98% ain't live the same type of life as me The judge gave me life and then they sent me where the life is be That level forward depth and vice, the type of stuff they like to see Two choices, fight or flee, I refuse to die a chump I've never been a mark, but damn it's scary when that riot jump I've seen dudes cry, get pumped, or some sexually brutalized I knew a dude who lost his life and he was only doing five Year long racial fights when homie all you do is ride Lonely days and nights have been a whole cause in suicide From the moment you arrive, you see the Mexican Mafia AB skinheads with big giant swastikas Pro-black philosophers, the BGF, the Kumi And Muslims who will murk you from the nation to the Sunni That MS was loony, quick to ride up on they rival Even Christians went to church, hide knives up in a Bible Political and tribal, the Crips and Damus The Long Beast, the Hubs and the Dubs and the Grooves The IE, the Bakersfield the day go pie rules the hustlers quick to roll the gangsters don't move whatever click you choose you better st say what's cracking youtube it's your boy 16 to life and i'm back like i'm on a pro violation you're down i'm here to kick another story for y'all man but before i get started do me a favor i need you to hit that like I need you to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done that and also hit that notification bell. That way, anytime I drop a story, you'll be notified and you can hop on it ASAP Rocky or whenever you're ready. Now, for those of y'all who may be new uh, to my channel, in 1994, I got arrested and, uh, and was eventually sentenced to 16 years plus a life sentence. I ended up doing 24 years straight in some of these California prisons and over those times, I accumulated some stories. And so I'm going to give y'all one today. So, like I say, man, in 1996, uh, eventually I, I was uh, convicted. I ended up getting 16 years plus life. And I left the county jail. I went to reception center. Reception center is basically another prison where they receive you. You know, they diagnose you. They uh, You talk to some counselors and this and that. And they pretty much they assess you and figure out what prison you're going to. So from the reception center, I ended up going to uh, Salinas Valley. Now, Salinas Valley was a level four, 180 prison. Now, what that is, is it's basically the highest level of security that California prisons have to offer. So it's a maximum security prison. And now the difference between a 180 and a 270 is that the 180s are more secure. They're built to try to uh, limit a bunch of convicts being in a place, you know, being being in places together. And, I mean, you know, trying to eliminate, they're trying to eliminate a lot of, you know, just convicts being congregated in one place. So, for instance, like the, uh, the, the chow hall on a 180 is built right into the building. So when they release you from the building, you come out, you, uh, the guard will open the door, you'll go to the left through a little hallway, and the child hall is connected right there to the building, as opposed to like most other 270s, level threes, level twos. You come out of your building, you actually have to go outside and you walk to it to the child hall, you know. So now, so the building also it has three sections. It has A section, B section, and C section. Now I forget exactly how many uh, how many cells is in each section, but it, it might like in A section, it maybe it might be maybe 25 on the bottom or 20 on the bottom. 25 on the top then he goes to, you know then you got b section there's a door right there you know you can look through the door and see b section you know the, the guard can also buzz the door open and then um a person can go to b section and same with c you know with c section and the guard is in the tower the tower is big and he can walk and you know control all the cells in all these different sections so now one day we're going to child now so he released everybody for child i'm in a section he released everybody for child we go to child when we come back He's opened up the doors, telling everybody, of course, to lock up, go back in your cell. Now, there's this one dude. Now, he's upstairs. My cell is downstairs. Now, there's this one dude, and for the intents and purposes of this story, I'm going to call him Smiley. Smiley was from up north. So, he telling Smiley to lock up. Now, Smiley is telling him, hey, man, open my cell a little wider. Now, the guard is a black guard. The guard is probably about 5'9", you know, probably in his 30s, early 30s somewhere, 5'9", maybe about 185, 90 pounds. You can definitely tell he hit that gym. He's in that, you know, he's in that gym. Now, uh, uh, Smiley, Smiley happened to be maybe about 5'8", 160, 165 pounds. Don't look like he worked out too much at all, you know. Smiley probably was in his early, in his early, uh, 
you know, early 30s or, or mid 20s, you know, wasn't old, wasn't old guy either, kind of young guy. So Smiley is upstairs. My cell is downstairs, but they having a dialogue back and forth. Smiley is telling him, man, we'll open my cell wider because the guard in the tower, he controls the cell. He controls how the cell doors open with a button. So, you know, he can, and it'll, you know, it'll lock. But I guess he'd only open up the cell, you know, partial, halfway or whatever. So Smiley's telling him, hey, man, that's not enough room for me to get up in there. The guard is telling him, man, that's enough room. You know, get your ass up in the cell. This is how the guard is talking to him, a black guard. So they having this dialogue back and forth. Smiley like, man, fuck you. I'm not going up in there. Open that cell wider. I'm not just to squeeze through there. He like, man, that's enough. That's enough room, man. You better get your ass up in that cell. Smiley telling him, fuck you. I'm not going nowhere if you, uh, unless you open that motherfucker. So they having this dialogue back and forth like two or three minutes. The guard tell him, okay, you wait till you better get your ass up in there, man, or I'm, I'm going to come up out this tower and put you up in there. Uh, a smiley is telling him, come on, bring your ass up out of there then. So he said, okay, you wait till I finish locking up everybody else. So the guard, you know, he, now he, so now I can look up there and see him. So he, you know, he, now he goes to B section. So now he's no longer in my view. So I guess he go to B section. He locks everybody up over there. He go to C section. He lock everybody up over there. Now this take about five minutes. So now he comes back. He telling him, hey, listen, man, I'm telling you, you better get your ass up in that cell. You know, now. I can't see Smiley now because Smiley's upstairs now. Smiley's upstairs, I guess, standing in front of his door. But, you know, they still going back and forth. The guard is telling him, all right, man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to come down here and put you in that motherfucker. Smiley telling him, bring your punk ass on up out of here, man. Just all you got to do, punk, is open the door. Smiley getting at him, you know, talking to him crazy and shit. So the guard said, all right, I'm, don't even trip. I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. So now the guard, you know, he... He leaves or whatever. Next thing I know, I look up. I see him. He's on the floor. Now, there's another white CO with him, another guard, uh, another white guard there with him, too. The white guard is saying something to him. He tell him, no, man, I'm cool. Don't trip. Stay right here. I got this. This is what the black guard tell the white guard. I'm tripped. Don't he said, no, no, you know, don't don't hit the button or nothing. I got this. So so after he finished talking to him, now he's in. Now the black guard is on the actual floor. He didn't came out the tower and he's in the building on the floor. So he look up, he tell Smiley one more time. He said, hey, man, I'm telling you, you better get your ass up in that motherfucking cell. You know, Smiley say, man, fuck you. Open, go up there and open the gate. Go up there and open the cell door then. I'm not squeezing through there. You know, he said, all right, don't even trip. I'm just to come put your ass in that cell. So now the guard comes. I'm like I said, at this time, I'm in my cell. The guard comes. He walks past my cell. Now I hear him. I hear him walking up the steps. He's telling him, I'm telling you, boy, you better get your ass in that cell. Uh, uh, Smiley's like, fuck you. I'm not going nowhere. So he walk on up the stairs. Next thing I hear, ooh, ooh, ooh. I hear some, like, some noise like they up there. They up there fighting and squabbing and shit. All of a sudden I hear, bitch, you bitch. Didn't I tell you to get your ass in that cell, bitch? Didn't I tell you, bitch? Turn around, bitch. And I, ooh, 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 ooh. I hear a motherfucker like getting slammed all up against the, up against the door and shit. I'm like, God damn, what's going on? So they up there, they into it, right? So a few minutes later, now I hear the guard telling him, yeah, bitch, next time I tell you to do something, bitch, you do it. You hear me, bitch? So now they walking down the stairs and he's got, now Smiley is handcuffed now. So now they, he walked down the stairs now, take him to like, it's a little door that you go out. He take him by that door, stop, put him up against the door, like pat him down and stuff, I guess to make sure he don't got no weapons or nothing like that. And he take him on up out of there. I'm like, damn, that was some crazy shit, right? So he walked him on up out of there. You know, and the whole time now he talk, he talking to him. The guard is talking crazy to him, you know, calling him all out his name and shit. You a punk. You ain't hard and all this old type of shit. Now, Smiley ain't saying nothing. He don't have nothing to say. So, you know, they take him, they take him over there, wherever, wherever they take him to the program office. Actually, I never seen him no more. And then the guard then eventually come back, maybe about an hour later or whatever, whatever. And then they open up, they open up yard. And let us go to yard. So now me and my boy Dre, Dre was from Long Beach Insane. So we walking, you know, we walking to, uh, we walking to, uh, we going out to yard. Now there just so happened, there happened to be an Asian dude who lived right next door to Smiley. So uh, Dre knew the dude. I think the Asian might have been from Long Beach or whatever. I don't remember his name though. So Dre asked him. He said, "Hey man, what happened, man? What 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 happened when the guard come up there?" The Asian said, "Oh, he treats Smiley like bitch. He tells Smiley you bitch." you bitch you bitch so you know it was real funny the asian dude was telling us what happened you know but the asian's english wasn't all that good but he said oh yeah he treat him like big bitch he treat him like bitch he grabbed him he slammed him you know so uh you know it was real funny man we was laughing about that shit and that was actually the first time man i've seen a guard come out the cell get cracking you know and put his hands on a dude or actually like i say it was the first time
time I heard it. You know, I then I seen him when he walked him down and escorted him out, man. But you know, back in the days, man, some of them guards would actually give dudes a head up fade. You know, they would come out. You know, like I say, they they would come out or they had a little room. They come out the uh, they come out the tower. They had a little room. They tell you to come in man and they fight you man man to man you know i was in ironwood it was a white guard down there fighting dudes out you know giving giving calling dudes out man and, and you know sometimes you in prison you you would have a dispute you know the dude wouldn't write you up if it, if it was just like a uh a dispute between two men you know what i'm saying it would go there you had some of these guards man who had no problem man giving you a head up fade you know what i'm saying and so by you know like i say i know a couple guards who did that and out of respect to them i'm not even gonna call their names out you know because they was some of them was really with the business you know you couldn't disrespect them they would treat you like a man but in the event you you know you thought that oh man uh take that badge off take you know i'll whoop your ass some of them wouldn't go in for that shit they would actually come out the tower like i said man and give you that head of faith give you what you was asking for and now of course if you sitting there you talking all this shit to a guard because you think that he's not just to give you no head of faith he's not just to come out the tower and then he do come out the tower and tell you what's up man let's go get that there ain't no way you can turn that down because now you got the whole you know what i'm saying convict population looking at you you didn't talk to all this shit to the guard now he tell you yeah bring your ass up in here and you don't go up in there Oh, you can best believe your reputation is over, man. So, you know, there was back, like I say, there was a time back in the days where some of them guards would give a dude what he was asking for, man. If, if you wanted that fade, you could get that fade. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, man, that's my story right there on that. Hopefully y'all have uh, enjoyed it. Y'all be safe and resume normal program. And the crackers let me out the gate, now the pressure's on what? We bout to get this shit straight like a pressing cone okay. The wrong cat to get aggressive on I bring the bitch up out of niggas while you think they got some dresses on God. My reach long and that's the best type To have some dirty white boys come and smoke you like a meth pipe And leave your chest bright red like a fire truck Kick in your mom's door at night nigga and tie her up I'm wild as fuck and I'm respected by the new youth I put this pistol in their ear like a bluetooth I blow their brains on their new coupe and have red everywhere just like a function full of soup hoops. Tell your troops I deal with beef like a butcher My 4-5 pump more guys than Ashley Kusher Line pusher, quick to bury your clown Nigga, I stayed in the park like the merry-go-round Get it? The gang greasy bitch, they can't need me Oh, your niggas don't know my name The gang greasy bitch, they can't need me I'm out here doing my thing The gang greasy bitch, they can't need me I swear in my own lane. That game crazy, bitch. That game.